Hey Scorpios, welcome to your reading for the person most on your mind. This is for the second half of July, so Leo season. Let's see what it is going on with this relationship. Okay, the person most on your mind, Scorpios. And let's see. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely, loyal subscribers, welcome back, guys. Let's see. Okay, so Ten of Cups, Strength card, The Lovers. Okay, jumping out very strongly first. Um, and the Hierophant. So uh, this connection, definitely sent by the Divine. It's a Divine connection here. Your soulmates, this is your twin flame. That sort of connection, somebody who you're going to learn so much from each other. Hopefully, both of you learn something, right? So that's the old bottom of the deck with the Hierophant there. And let's get the new bottom of the deck. So Hierophant is the card number five. It's challenges. It's like a lesson that you'll have to learn. Uh, there's no escaping it in this life. You came to this life to learn this, to wake you up now. Uh, the new bottom of the deck is Seven of Wands. So this can be resistant in this connection. This person could be resisting or uh, wanting to, uh, maybe they never wanted to fall for you as hard as they did. Um, they didn't think that they would love you this much. It's overwhelming. Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. Uh, it's something, the death card there. Um, it's something that they... Um, thought they could get away from somebody they thought they could love and leave um but you're somebody who they can't seem to get over they're struggling with this connection their feelings for you um with the ten of cups uh it could be how they was brought up themselves uh you know from childhood they maybe wasn't shown love and or attention maybe the parents had things going on so the children was left to you know do as they please and this is the sort of thing we say, you know, when we were younger, we used to go out and come home when the street lights turned on and basically we was just left to do whatever we wanted. We wasn't, we just grew up around other grown people. We didn't really get brought up. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to say. Um, and for so long we have said this is you know, oh, back in our day, it was so fabulous growing up like that. But now you're seeing all oh, the consequences of somebody in a romantic relationship who grew up like that. They could be still very immature, still these children in regards to love. So they might have grown with age and time, but with how to love and how to receive love and give love, they could still be very uh, immature. Um, same for you. You could be very immature in how to receive love it could be part of your lesson here that you're struggling with how to receive it never felt worthy maybe never got it from your parents so always struggling and maybe overly giving with the ten of cups in a romantic relationship um and the other person could have just been receiving never know how to give love um i feel like this person was never brave enough to love you here I feel like they never had the strength for the, you could have had very similar childhoods but become very different people. So one became like a narcissist and one became like an empath. Um, so very similar upbringings but took very different routes growing up here and this is what we see, right? Um, that somebody could be twisting and turning in this agony um, and causing it, you know, to spread to outside of them so they could be a narcissist and you are also twisting and turning here but you're using it to grow things right you use it to nurture things um maybe not yourself because like i said you could still very much be these wounded children right that wasn't loved correctly um and i think where you use the strength card to try and give to people what you never had this person tries to take what they never had from people and it's causing destruction around them so although you could be 
very the same uh, sort of childhood but very different growing up I feel like everybody around you you want to blossom um, uh, but inside you could be this the other side of this like could be twisted burning you know anxiety sort of ridden and this person is this on the outside spreading this fire this destruction and on the inside they are um you know gaining from it so it's very challenging right um and it goes back to the death card he it will be like destruction all around until you both are broken down and then reborn then you can move forward positively when you've learned not to overly give but it, you find that very challenging stepping away from uh doing and giving to other people right you know you guys always get this bad rep but i think it's like you know people might bump into these sort of scorpios that have got this destruction around them to feed their own needs um, and you on the other hand could be sort of the empath versus the narcissist which is you know an empath is a narcissist a worst enemy right um, because they see f you see through them and you see all that destruction and things and they don't want you to see it and I feel like they don't want to love you but they do there's so much love here with the ten of cups they just don't know how to and i think you didn't know how to at the beginning to receive this love um so it's both of you it seems like it comes from childhood you both you know these loving free spirits that was destined to be together um to find each other but now like we see the divine bringing you together to show you you know different parts the whole point of growth is seeing and understanding a different perspective right um so let's see i mean eight of swords it's like you can both obsess about each other but both stay in your corner um stand your ground here so it's not that you are falling over yourself now to please them maybe you know initially this is what happened but now i don't think so um, I feel like you're gaining strength. I feel like you're um, doing the work here and it makes them more tormented, if you like, um, because they feel like you're getting further and further away from them, where if they was doing the work, you'd be coming closer and closer together, right? Um, we see eight here with the strength and we see eight here with the sword so eight is about this abundance it's all it's also the eighth house which is scorpio about tr change and transformation and death which we've spoke of here um so it's like I, you'll love this person for eternity and they'll love you for eternity um why can't i forget this person why even if i don't want to be with them are they always on my mind they had the biggest impact on your life as a grown-up relationship a grown-up romantic relationship here um heavily on each other's mind so let's see the world here um new beginnings coming could be different races nationalities upbringings um well i think sort of a similar upbringing it just might be a different culture different race or a different age group um so if it's a girl and a boy i feel like the girl may be older uh than the boy and things like that so there are some differences between you but um a lot of similarities as well that pulled you together so you know it's not that just that they don't know how to love it's that you didn't know how to receive love and then you've been brought together um, with an immense connection and immense love for each other and desire and you just don't know how to sort of work it out here let's get some clarification on that you know um, let's get an extra card here because it seems like this is the person I was meant to be with but you know the world card this is an end of a cycle this is an end of a cycle the ten of cups it can feel more like let's say negative karma um just because i don't like karma solely used for 
oh, you're going to get your karma in a negative term. Um, so it kind of feels like this person might have brought up those feelings like, oh, this, what have I done in my past life to deserve this? Um, because you love them so much and, um, you know, then was hurt so much by this person. They brought so much destruction around, right? Two of Cups. Um, there still could be spiritual union in this, but it's like your souls are tied together forever. Uh, I definitely think that, you know, there was no way of escaping this, so there's no beating yourself up about it. There's no, like, if I'd only walked a different street that day, <laughs> there's none of that. You was always destined to be with each other here with this Two of Cups. Uh, like I said, um, a lot of it was meant to be here. It really is like, it, it was meant to be. I kind of feel like uh, this is a twin flame connection or this is a very strong soulmate connection here. Obstacles and challenges there. So it is fraught with these obstacles and challenges because um, of everything that's going on in this relationship. But um yeah it's definitely it's it's horrible isn't it when somebody you know you're meant to be with or you'll never forget like it's like i never get over this person or i never forget this person there's always a reminder there's always like this divine reminder there's always 11 11 on the clock or there's always some sort of 888 on the clock here but 888 is abundance so and for you guys it is transformation and these transformations bring this strength um, it's this person seems or thinks they're not strong enough or not enough to love you where you're trying to embrace strength and take that leap of faith uh, I just heard I used to listen to this song all the time even when you wasn't enough I was the one who showed you how to love um, it's a Mariah Carey song um, so you was trying to show them how to love and teach them how to love and understand them in the relationship where I don't think they could do it in the relationship because they would have just kept draining you. Um, so the divine might have separated you, you know, brought you together and separated you here, which a lot of the times people don't see it that way, um, that the divine separates you, you know, in order to dangle that carrot in front of their face to make them learn this lesson to make them change and transform and they're really thinking about it like i can't keep going through my life like this so it's making them see um but the problem is with that at the moment they're just trapped in fear queen of cups again so it's not to lose yourself um or beat yourself up it's it's about learning to nurture yourself not and to not give up on love when we're hurt you know people can say you know what i'm never gonna love again and i'm strong and i'm courageous but actually when you've been hurt and you choose to love again that is real strength because you again set yourself up to be vulnerable i definitely feel like you're um leaning now into feminine energy whether you're male or female it's definitely more um a feminine lean so it might have been you was in this masculine lean all your life and now you're leaning into the feminine so you're leaning into receiving uh love uh, which is wonderful because that was your whole goal this is where your strength is that you understand you deserve love you don't need to overly give and you can still be you um very powerful intuition at this time so you probably are seeing a lot of signs and um, there's that seven of wands um this person finds it very difficult around you um might even be that you know their triggers are triggered by you um with this uh motherly figure so it could be like you trigger them about their mom so you love them so much and have maybe a motherly energy and their mother maybe didn't have that energy so it reminds them that you know i went through these challenges i'm strong on my own very masculine energy sort of thing 
I can do this. Um, you may have not wanted to become your mother, so you went overly bored, you know, like you didn't want to become your mother who wasn't giving of love and attention, like I say, you know, children who used to run around in the streets until the uh, lights came on or unattended, jumping into rivers and things, you know. I mean, <laughs> we, we used to think, yeah, that was real living back then, and then we're slowly, as we heal, start to understand that nobody was also there to ask us how we are children were supposed to be seen and not heard um and if you think about it back then there were huge families you know people was having a lot more children then so maybe the parents were doing with their best with the amount of children that they had with their own uh you know abilities that they had so you know they were not given the same love and pass that on to their children. They thought, no, that's how we were brought up. It never did us any wrong. So this is how I brought my children up. So it was like a cycle like that. And you have the bravery to fight this uh, cycle, even though it's challenging, it's hurtful. A lot of it you had to do on your own, maybe exiled from the family here and closed off with the world card, but you, you know, you're doing it and you're loving yourself and that's important. And that's where the strength will be. Okay, Nine of Cups. So again, another indication that this is the person that you were seeking all your life. You might have felt, you know, from a very young age, both of you, that there's, some, there's something, there's the one. And you may have always known there's the one. Um, and you could have been searching for them. Even if you had many relationships or no relationships, you could have been searching for the one and always had this prince or princess idea here that I'm going to find that one um, my wishes will become true my life will improve um, you know sort of like a fairy tale sort of thing you didn't know you was this romantic but uh, it turns out you are and it's about finding that again going to your inner child not only for the triggers and the traumas but to remember those beautiful things that uh, you thought about love and you know wanted out of love here jupiter is going to be doing some magical moves for you right now um so granting your wishes uh, nine of cups so remember to have clear mind and remember what's in your mind here will manifest because the eight of swords if you're overthinking or worrying can uh you know expand with jupiter in the nine of cups so this can be overindulging in drinking or thinking or any sort of maybe addictions that could be magnified um, negative thoughts so this is why the strength card reminds us to like if we're overthinking and or negative thinking to stop have a break um, don't beat ourselves up and things like that with the seven of wands here um, the rest is just as important right it's about taking time to love yourself with the nine of cups uh, but also like I say your wish is coming true here um, things expanding uh, with this person you both consider the one um, so if there was a cycle that ended with them um, and you wish for it to reopen um, or they're wishing for it to reopen I feel like a time will come um, where that wish will be granted if it's not granted immediately it doesn't mean that you know that wish won't happen it's when we uh, plant seeds and then we have to put action behind it okay this person could have been they could have moved on to somebody else they could have tried their hardest here to forget you and thought you know I'm gonna be happy like my family was happy or I'm gonna do things the way my parents did it and you know they're finding every road they take challenging because of this divine connection yeah disruption this is the tower so everywhere they turn they find a problem with you know trying to escape it's like they can't escape themselves and a twin flame connection you are them so they can't escape themselves but this is what you know no matter which way you go you have to face in and it starts right by loving yourself choose wisely here okay let's see one more the truth the truth will always set you free my darlings 
even if it's bad, even if you recognise that, hey, it's me making these problems in my outside world, then we can stop and then we can change it, right? If we blame some other people, um, we're never going to see an improvement. But, so this is what this person's thinking about now with the Eight of Swords. So, you know, it's good. I just feel like initially they were so terrified of loving you that they just trapped themselves in fear. And they tried to go every other path that's set for you. But I feel like maybe they'll find their path leads back to you. Good luck, guys.